And today we have a new guest, Armando Ramirez. Welcome, guys. What it do? What's it's going good on? Good to be here, Carla. <laughs> Glad to have y'all. Um, how's how y'all been? Uh, it was not bad. Just came from my job. Wow. Fun, fun. Wanted to come. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Me, I'm just recovering from a uh, good night last night. You you went out. You had fun. Yeah, went out. You know, did uh, college things. That's exciting. Love to hear it. Um, well, have you been on the show before? Excited to be back. Ah, uh, yeah, it's always a pleasure. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Love to hear that. Uh, Armando, have you ever had radio experience before? No, I have no experience on radio. So this is your uh, this your is debut. My first time we should call it. Yeah. Breaking, uh, Losing my virginity, my radio virginity. <laughs> <laughs> you fools. <laughs> Wait, are we allowed to talk uh, about these kinds of things? Yeah, you're so fine, yeah. bro. Like, okay. be, be a man. It's all right, dude. <laughs> it's okay. All right, so Javi's already answered these questions, so you can take a backseat for now. But Armando, <laughs> okay. what is your major? My major is New Media Studies and History, and I've just finished my history degree, so now I'm just focusing on New Media Studies. Fun, fun. Um... What is your, most importantly, your zodiac sign? The zodiac sign. I'm a Virgo. Do you believe in astrology? I didn't, but like now, like I kind of read some of the stuff and it's right. just like so. Man, yeah, people are weird. How are you going to believe that? <laughs> <laughs> like you read it, it's just like, bro, like this is actually like very similar to like. That's some not what you said last time you were on the show. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Come on now. Call him out. Call him out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the previous episodes are up on YouTube, bitly.com oh, slash podcast. We could, we could fact Tune check it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what were you saying, though, about astrology? Oh, um, some of the stuff you uh, read, um, it's very accurate. And then you start, like, reading about other people's zodiac sign. And it's just very accurate to, like, what they are as a person, too. So it's just, like... So would you say what convinced you was seeing more how it uh, had to do with other people instead of just, just like, how everything. it related to you? Like me, everybody else, those people around me is just very like people. He said people. He people. said people. <laughs> very accurate. <laughs> um, it's like I'm um, some Twilight Zone kind of thing. <laughs> some <right>. Twilight Zone. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I don't disagree. Like it is interesting to see how other people relate to their uh, astrological sign. Clearly, uh -huh. considering that I ask this every single week. What's yours, Carla? I'm a Cancer. Cancer. Yeah. Would you say yours is very accurate? <laughs> um. Yes, to an extent. Uh, to an extent, right? But, but yeah, good. It's, uh, it's close enough accurate. to like kind of freak you out. Close enough for me to like obviously feed into You're this. It's still weird, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear anything. I feel like Javi should gonna, write down what he of, his personality is, and then like you read it and like kind of yeah. like mind blown. So I think I said uh, this yeah, last mind. time. <laughs> last time he was on the show, I'm pretty sure I said that I wanted to like go through. Uh, different traits because I mentioned that our first guest which this episode is not on YouTube this is the only one that didn't record but anyway uh, we had a guy on here that was an Aquarius and he like said he didn't believe in it didn't buy into it so I was like okay so do you relate to these traits nah these traits nah this trait um yeah I guess the only ones he said yes to were Aquarius things oh so you know not you, saying that that's proof but him? yeah and so I told him and he was like nah you lying and I'm like the stars don't lie right though. that's that was me <laughs> back then yeah. So I, I would say I'm a believer. There we go. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> Have you said all tea, all shade? Y'all mad weird. <laughs> Instead of doing a song for y'all, I'm just going to pull up Javi's old uh, podcast episode and we can oh. see what he actually said about astrology. <laughs> Fact check to this to that man. right now. <laughs> what? Fact check this man. Oh. Um, Call him out, Shade. <laughs> hey, do you see that? <laughs> We're in for a fun night tonight, y'all. Nah, for sure. Um talk good <laughs> so last time we talked a little bit about like i keep saying last time as if it was recent enough to matter but um we do like to talk about like you know our backgrounds and how that changes us and like how we relate to that and especially when it, we have more than one person on the show okay because you guys are both from georgia yes georgia. i'm from north carolina we're all mexican um you know we're all here in connecticut now so i kind of wanted to ask you guys like how y'all's experience has differed from each other's because y'all are from different parts of Georgia as well. Yeah. So, you know, what what would you guys say is, like, something that you feel like y'all have in common or y'all have different? Because y'all know each other as well, right? So. I mean, we're from Georgia, but we're, like, um, like about, like, what, three, four hours apart, so. Yeah. And I mostly lived on the, I wouldn't say, in, 
I wouldn't live, but I spent most of my times outside. Mm -hmm. And I guess for the most part, I hear other people's and like they were never around like like little. I, I don't know because um, I had across the street from like to street and street, you know, walking right. distance. Um, I would take the bus when I was like probably like 13. Yeah. So I'd be doing my own thing and just seeing what's out there. A lot right. of crime. Mm -hmm. But uh, where I grew up, it's mostly like on Beaver Highway. Mm -hmm. So for those who know Plaza Fiesta and all that <laughs> good places, Farmer's Market. Yeah. Uh, I would always like spend my time there because, you know, the food, the culture and soccer was really uh, popular. So we would play for play for money. Mm -hmm. And if you win some, you you took him go buy chips for the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ratas, you know, ratas. Oh. <laughs> but I would always spend my time out. I never wanted to be home, and I kind of grew up in that area. Yeah. So I spent most of my time and then working. And Would you say it was diverse? Like, uh it was just blacks and Hispanics for the most part. And the only, like, Caucasians were the cops, you know. But that was... <laughs> <laughs> I feel that like, heavy. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> so when I, when I came to Eastern, yeah. I was like, holy shit. Like, I've never seen so many uh, Caucasians. Cause, <laughs> like, like, I would, like, because no, all yeah. I knew were cops, you know. Like, right. My gas, like, the gas station was always a Mexican or, yeah. or some Muslim. What, not to be... You no, know, not like, to, like, it but, is a, yeah. a thing. But, um... Anywhere I went, it was just, and I felt comfortable. Right. And then when I got up here, I'm like, holy sh like. I'm t Dude, I'm telling you, I grew <laughs> up in a pretty diverse area as yeah. well. And like, granted, uh, you know, maybe it wasn't like that. F uh, to me, it wasn't that like strange or anything. Because like, I just, that's what I grew up around. And so whenever I went to high school, like my high school was not that diverse at all. Because it was people from different districts of right. schools, like all kind of pulled into like the county. Um, and it was just like. I think it was only four of us that weren't white, and well, that was wild. And I was, that was the first time I was like, "Bro, like <laughs> racism is real?" Question mark What? And then coming here, it was just kind of like uh, going back to like something that I'd known in the past. But like high school really is your formative years, right? And so to me, it was like crazy. I'm like, "Bro, I get to actually like relate to people on like a cultural level, mm -hmm. not just like, oh, we're in the same class and we both listen to like <laughs> same music." Like okay. it was actually so that's like your, that's your different background. Too. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So to me, it was just like pretty cool to actually get to interact with you know the culture once <laughs> again. Because <laughs> like when culture. you're a kid, like you you know, but it's not like as significant to you and who you are. Right. But like to me, it's just like I never like yeah, some people. Um, I mean, uh, are pretty white you know. Like, yeah. Like they've never been around other people. Like right. That group from so that's I totally agree. You know? And it's crazy because like even in high school, like uh, whenever I was like just around like, but, like pretty much just all white people, like I was never like the type to just hide like the Mexican side. I'd be like, oh, dude, you guys are missing out. You know, y'all don't know what <laughs> anything is other than like takis and <laughs> <laughs> uh, hot Cheetos for yeah. breakfast. That's what you want. <laughs> You're like, I'm Carla. I got a coach y'all. <laughs> dude, it's high key. <laughs> What's your uh, your story, Amanda? Me, I'm from South Georgia, like um, about an hour away from the Florida border. So I was raised around Florida pretty, Georgia Line. Yeah, Florida Georgia Line. I was raised pretty much around a very, I wouldn't say it was diverse, but very like Caucasian area. Mm -hmm. So it was like very um, stereotypically uh, what a Republican conservative kind of yeah. uh, suburban area. Got you. So. You know, the whole um, Republican candidates on people's yard signs, uh, you know, Trump, Jeez. Trump, what, 2016 on oh, everybody's yeah. yard. Who? Trump 2016 on everybody's yard, bro. Damn. Ooh. Like, the only people that had, like, uh, what, Democrat candidate um, signages on their yards were, like, minorities. So it was, like, mainly, like, the minorities there, like, the black people that can, like, you know, they exercise the right to vote, but, like... Hispanics there aren't as um informed as um you know on their rights and everything, especially um you know being so far from Atlanta where all the like um organizations really are. Yeah. So right. you know um all you know is like whatever your neighbors say or whatever you hear on the media. So mm. like that's how we had to like um get our information from. Right. But um I mean I was raised there all my life, so I was pretty used to like Caucasians yeah. and um. We had a pretty good amount of what Mexican population. That's the main thing. Um, if you're Hispanic and you're in South Georgia, you're mainly uh, Mexican. So mm -hmm. I wasn't like, um, how would you say? I wasn't um, used to like other kind of like Hispanics, like um, 
like uh, immersing myself in their culture like puerto ricans and dominicans like when i came up here that was like a pretty big difference to me yeah so would you say that you experienced uh like a different i guess level of, not racism but just like prejudice prejudice having, like change like having grown up in an area where you were you know a minor- like very prominently a minority i mean my area is um the big um industry there is like agriculture so you know the brown people are gonna work for like you know rich farmers like predominantly yeah. like most main just caucasians so it was kind of like where they were like more integrated mm-hmm. so i would say like um we're used to kind of getting along but like you know like we'd work together things like that but like after that it's just like everybody does their own kind of thing and um kind of like de facto like segregation there like right. um for example like one thing i didn't like start questioning it was until i got here and then like i'll go back home like you know just start you start noticing things yeah like one example is like um you know football games Mm -hmm. like uh, football is big down in the south right like in the stadium uh for the football team for my uh hometown Mm -hmm. like it'd be one side like whites and then like the other side like blacks you mean the falcons no, not the Falcons, my <laughs> high school team. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How he said, he said the what? The Falcons? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Um, I'll carry on, carry on. Yeah, yeah, but um, half the side of the um stadium was, like, black and half were white, like, sitting apart from each other. And, like, it's not like there was any signs or anything. It was just, like, that's where they chose to sit, you know? So it was, like, like that's kind of the culture there. It's just you get along, but, like, at the end of the day, you're just within your own group right. kind of thing interesting very interesting i mean i still see that here on campus but shit (laughs) (laughs) so what like would you say you've had a different experience then for sure right oh hell yeah (laughs) Uh, like that's why i'm I'm not used to like this (laughs) yeah or like staying in one position you know yeah i'm I'm everywhere i do what i want you know (laughs) Mm -hmm. feel that no that's i mean it's fair like and we've all had uh or all oh, like there's so many of us in here like we've each had very different like experiences like home and here like just the, like yeah not culture shock i guess but just like the shift and like the yeah. dynamic yeah i mean for the most part i've had more like racist incidents and just prejudice all the time yeah but so. back in georgia or up here oh anywhere dude <laughs> anywhere i go <laughs> in well, general, would you say yeah. mainly the south or mainly up north i mean it's it's i mean it's common in the south yeah. But, but in the north like they're more quiet about it right so like actually like yesterday when i came to um a museum in massachusetts i was walking to my dorm mm-hmm. and this campus police just out of nowhere came out of nowhere and asked yeah. me if i lived here i'm like what? wow yeah. <laughs> oh my god i'm like yeah and i walked in and he follows me yeah because i didn't have my keys so i was like trying to wait you know because the usual college kid uh, forgets their kids and he comes right. in with his bike <laughs> and oh, he's dude. still looking at me and you know i just tell my all right hey can you just let me in yeah to my room because uh-huh. uh, they kind of had me tight but it's not the right. first time on campus either i've had like seven already sheesh yeah. man seven incidents oh, um, God. like with the cce just mind my own business yeah and it's always like you go here like can i see your id i'm like I was about to say you have a whole CCE jacket and people still like dare ask you yeah. a question. I'm like, I don't know, man. Like, I work over there. Is that enough? Yeah. Like, like it's just draining. And I've wow. just built a it's tolerance. It's exhausting, yeah. yeah. I built a tolerance. I'm like, right. Like, That's crazy. Uh, yeah, it dude. is. Like, I haven't had any of those like experiences up here. Right. Yeah, dude. See, and here's my thing. Like, for, I mean, you guys just hear my voice every week. But for those of y'all that don't me, like, I'm pretty pale obviously my accent is very like southern country um shut up <laughs> <laughs> i say in like the countryest accent ever yeah, bro, um, gonna leave carla alone, bro. come on now hey, no, bro, i'm just trying to speak the truth but like <laughs> unless i'm like okay wow get off my show go home um, all right i'm out <laughs> <laughs> this has been our monday everyone tune in next week uh no nah, but like unless i'm speaking in spanish people don't say anything to me and i remember one time we were at the store and uh we were trying to just figure out what time they closed right was it like a normal store or a mexican store no it was just like, like a normal store normal back store. home okay. um and my dad uh I w- I w- my dad doesn't 
uh, speak Spanish when we're out of the house. He's like, you know, just whenever we're out. Really? And about, yeah, whenever we're out and about, my parents are like, you know, speak English just because otherwise, you know, people might say something, people might think something. Or if you're like wow. hanging out with people that speak English, they might feel left out. Just kind of like as a thing. Yeah. And like Charlotte and I, my sister and I, like we, for some reason, we kind of revert to speaking Spanish when we're out because it's like, don't nobody need to know our business? Anyway, <laughs> shoot. Um, but like, anyway, I'd, I'm pretty sure like, it had been me that was speaking in Spanish to him. And he went to ask the, the lady what time they close. And she was like, sorry, I don't speak Spanish. And the, other, the lady that was working and the cashier that was beside her, she was like, he just asked you in English what time we close. And she's like, we close at nine, sir. And my dad's like, okay, cool. Thank you. We're leaving now. Actually, bye. <laughs> but I was just like, dang, dude, y'all really out here well then. That's crazy. <laughs> like, God dang. But yeah, like I said, unless I'm speaking Spanish or very like clearly being like hey look yeah. at me I'm so it's not till you start speaking or like yeah. telling them who you are is where they start like, like just, seeing you different yeah uh like even in high school i like i'm pretty sure most of freshman year people didn't know just because i didn't like be out here like hey guys i'm carla i'm mexican <laughs> hey look at everyone <laughs> look at my hey. flag look at my hey, look at me i gotta put a <laughs> sombrero no in the yeah. <laughs> no right here in the face too you know right, right here and so this other girl knew me before school uh like before we went to high school she was like friends with family friends or whatever and uh it was around the time when we had to take spanish class and people kept asking for her uh her help and she was like y'all know carla's mexican she speaks spanish too and everyone was like no way what you're mexican what? wait <laughs> like what? whoa How? dude you're mexican <laughs> yeah you're like carla you're one of those <laughs> literally that was the vibe it's like oh you're one of them I was just like, dang. Like, we gotta treat you different now. Man, for that kid. <laughs> right. oh, sorry, for my, sorry for my language. <laughs> um, but yeah. You said you haven't felt that either, though, Mondo. Me? Yeah. Um, I mean, not really. At all at all? Dang, you're lucky, man. <laughs> I mean, like, I just mind my own business. That's the thing. Like, I feel like <laughs> me too, but but like, I feel like if I was just some people literally come up to him and be like, "Yo, you you live here?" <laughs> <laughs> um, with me, no, because like, um, I usually just hang around. Like, uh, the people I hang around are like usually tolerant, and like, um, before I actually like start speaking to people, I kind of like observe how they are, and then, like, if I see, mm-hmm. I could like see myself with like. Talking to him or hanging out, like I talk to him. If not, like I'm right. in my own business. Bro, that's wild. No, I do that all the time. But <laughs> you don't see me start in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no. All right, well. Nah, but you know it's a good thing. You know, like you're lucky. Yeah. And you know, not everyone's ready for that either. So. Yeah. And, like. You know, I let them be happy. You know. You know. I what I'm going through, I'm doing it. Yeah. yeah. Just kind of be and exist in your own space. Yeah, if people I mean, want to say something or do something, it's like, all right, I'll deal with you now, but go on with your way. Yeah, <laughs> sure. All right. Um, I guess final question to get to know who you are, uh, Armando. Uh, give us a song to listen to. I chose Imagine by John Lennon. You know, we all need some um, change in the world. <laughs> Good and intro. All right. Change in the world like people too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. Great song. Fun fact, that's one of the first songs I learned to play on the piano. Fun fact, I guess also I know how to play piano. <laughs> uh, funny. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, all right, y'all, without further ado, here is Imagine by John Lennon. Segwaying off of Imagine, because, you know, we're Imagine. imagining <laughs> things. <you know? laughs> uh, topic creativity we all kind of ended up in creative paths even though that's not how we started our like plans of life right (laughs) (laughs) um i think i've talked about it on the show before uh i tried to do things like the smart like money way i did early college i got an associates in like humanities and arts uh like arts but like humanity type arts like psych and social and then i got an associates in science no science. And I was like, I was set on doing like chem or like computer science, or, like web development or something like that. But I ended up like deciding that was not the life for me whenever I actually like, you know, came to college, college. Uh, so you were still set on it when uh, you graduated high school? Yeah, because I mean, I've always liked the arts a lot more. I've always liked music. Uh, I wanted to go into film since I think I was like 13 or something. Uh, 
the goal is to be a director but <laughs> you know that's everyone's like oh you know that's so much work that's so far-fetched like you know it's one in a billion and i'm like okay so why Those not me just the people that are like you know like they just set the bar so low that right you know say your say your bar high carla you know? <laughs> she has so, high standards what do you mean that's what i'm doing now right <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we out here and you guys also did not start off as creative types yeah <laughs> pretty much <laughs> So what's been your all's path into creativity? Uh, I'll let Mondo talk. Let's see, let's see, what, let's see, let's see what this man got. This is let's see, our new guest, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Since y'all want to hear. Um, so when I was younger, I used to like draw a lot. I used to like paint a lot. And uh, I guess I would say I was like pretty creative like when I was younger. Yeah. But, um, you know, going through school, um, I feel like school like uh what they like ingrain in your head like oh you, like you know you gotta like go to college like you know study something like uh stem major or something like right. something where those money's at or like you know and also like you know like in like us as like minorities are like families come very like uh, low income low income families yeah. so it's like your mindset is kind of like, oh, I have to go and, like, make money, help my parents out, like, um, sacrifice, like, my own life for, like, um, right. for everybody. And um, I came here and I was um, thinking about doing accounting. And, um, accounting? Accounting. Cause what the? <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> Where did that come from? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Accounting I'm because, sure. uh, you know, you just need a bachelor's, a bachelor's degree and then, like, Yo, I'm sorry. you're out. I didn't mean to. Like, that just comes out. <laughs> you I see, see it? I, see, I say that all the time. But, <laughs> but go on, go on. Continue, continue. And then um, I was like, yeah, accounting, you know, just a four-year degree. I don't have to do any, uh, any more school after that and, you know, start making money. But, um. I started like a semester doing it and then like I was just like this is so much BS I right. I don't want to do this for the rest of my life I don't want to like sit in like a little desk and like make money for somebody else make somebody else rich or like you mm -hmm. know like give myself for like somebody else yeah. you know like dude that nine to five office job yeah. <laughs> so I dropped that and then like I just finished my other degree which is history and yeah Oh, I was finishing that. I was trying to think about like what I wanted to do, okay, cool. and then I realized that like I put off creativity so much back then just for like I don't, I don't mean to interrupt, but why history? Like, history? Yeah. I was always just so good at history, bro. Yeah, like the dates and stuff, or like the yeah, historical the facts. <laughs> no, not the dates. <laughs> just like um, learning like where you come from, learning about like your background, learning mm -hmm. about how things like came to be, and like how like issues evolved, and like you know how have we come as people. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, that's super interesting, actually. And so, um, so you just look over your notes and that's it, right? Like in high school, it's just memorization. Like I was yeah. just um. But now it's not that we're in college. Nah, college, high, college. high school is so different. Like <laughs> college. High school history is just like you memorize, you take the test, and that's yeah. it. But like in high school, like I mean, like in college, like you have to do a whole lot of like researching, a lot of writing. A lot. It's mainly just research and writing. Mm -hmm. And like. I mean, yeah, because you have it to know that. <laughs> yeah, but um, I wasn't like I feel like high school like doesn't didn't prepare me for that to like actually like. Gotcha. do that okay. but um i enjoyed it i finished it um i'm just working toward like the new media study now yeah and um just trying to trying to what i'm trying to make it out in the world <laughs> <laughs> you know, gotcha. i respect it I, I respect the hustle you know but and then new media like how how did that come up yeah the media because um and they went history you know it's kind of weird you know right. i mean not really what like i really want to do is like i don't know if um if y'all have ever seen like schindler's list? schindler's list yeah have you seen it um it's like about the holocaust and it's like oh. a it's a film um, not, i don't know about the film i haven't seen it but i know it's like a you big haven't seen thing. schindler's no, list no i haven't all right Carla, i'm a disgrace to film students everywhere i'm the, so sorry have to culture you bro but um <laughs> It's about the Holocaust, and um, it's based on, you know, actual events that occurred, yeah. like, what, yeah. um, less than 100 years ago. And, um, like, that's history and film, and, like, you know, people don't want to read anymore. People don't want to, like, read books or, like... So what you want to do is you want to use film. Yeah, to, way. like, show people how have we come, okay. like, as a society, right. and, like, how, like, even things back then, like, 
they don't see that like it's still occurring to this day. Of course, yeah, you know? no, for sure. And in fact, now that you brought up the Holocaust, um, I, my sister, my little sister, she FaceTimed me the other day, and I didn't know this, but apparently, like, uh, the whole Nazi, um, f- um, like, folks or whatever you want to call them, um, yeah. they used to kill babies and like use that baby like ashes and make it into soap. Whoa! What? Yeah, that's insane. Yeah. This isn't like my sophomore little sister in high school. They gave her this article in her class, and it's like, yeah, like they would kill babies in front of like their families. I'm like, holy, f- oh, dude, know? that's insane. Yeah, and that kind of like fucked me up even more. But jeez, <laughs> oh shit. But um, <laughs> but for the most part, uh, yeah, um, that that's funny you brought you brought history because I think that's kind of happening again in a way. Yeah. Like, you know, I don't history wanna... is doomed to repeat itself unless yeah. you know you learn from it. And it's crazy to see the parallels. No, for sure. Especially in that specifically. I remember whenever the election was going down, um, somebody decided to like compare this to like the times of the Holocaust, and it's like we're kind of headed in the same way. Like it's the same like level of fear, and I mean the difference is now you know we have the internet, so it just goes so much quicker. And you know just how the media portrays it too, like yeah. lost children, like. <laughs> Well, yeah, how, how do you lose you, how a do you whole lose child? Them, you know, like <laughs> you're not wrong. Like it just gets me upset, and, and you know, but that's powerful. Um, yeah, like that's real powerful. Like, yeah. Um, I guess that can I can answer mine. Uh, yeah, with my whole creativity. Yeah. Uh, I I just wanted to use art as a form of activism, because um, I've never really had like the potential to draw, but I've always had that vision, like just putting like. Put it all together, you know? Yeah. Building it up and making my own artwork. Right. And just, like, leave people questioning because they're the ones, they, they are the ones that are going to add value to it. Yeah. So I, that's what I aspire to do. And really, that's much of um, where my creativity comes from, the whole struggles and trying to see what I can do with myself to potentially be someone in this world you know <laughs> yeah it was just kind of a an escape you know from yeah. all the madness so i use it as that coping mechanism yeah and uh, i mean art is powerful you yeah. can you can do so much through it for yourself and for others so like for you to say that as uh you took to it kind of as a form of coping and activism like yeah. that's crazy you've like encapsulated like so much that art can do yeah so like all my thoughts like it's on it's just like my vision is my thoughts you know right so that's that's how i feel yeah really <laughs> sometimes dark sometimes a bit of humor but yeah it's, it's always something to think about <laughs> for sure and like honestly it's really cool to like hear what you guys have to say like y'all are genuinely like cool people and what y'all say is interesting like it's it's valuable you know and the fact that y'all are willing to talk about it, you know live on air for an audience of i don't know how many <laughs> 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 but yeah and, um, I mean, it's not like a foreign concept to, you know, surround yourself with the type of people that you want to be. Yeah, like, sure. ev- everything you guys have said is, like, kind of inspiring in a way. Yeah. So, you know, the company you keep is important. <laughs> company, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of a lot of that company brings a different kind of person, you know? Yeah. You know, one can bring you madness. The other one can bring you frustration. You know, a bit of everything. Mm-hmm. But um, that's why I've kind of always learn to like and like respect people and like right. if you fit at my table you're welcome if not then <laughs> if she fits at my table yeah, yeah. <laughs> what if a callback to your old quote huh? <laughs> <laughs> i mean yeah um this year was a, i learned a lot you know i had to remove yeah. some chairs from my table yeah but uh Ooh. but for the most part you know like bad company again um, yeah you know the people you surround yourself and are motivated to do better right the ones you should keep but um at the same time it's like if they don't make you feel like you love yourself enough, I yeah. think you should really remove yourself from that company. You know? mm-hmm. Which isn't to say like only surround yourself with like yes men and like yeah. people who are like gonna tell you, oh yeah, what you're doing is great, and like not call you out like on mm-hmm. it. But people that build you up and like help you kind of grow as a person, right? No, for sure. Like, like I know you want to hear what you want to hear, right? But I think it's best I tell you what you need to hear. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like, it's just a genuine constructive criticism cause mm-hmm. and the thing is a lot of people don't like to take constructive criticism either yeah because they feel attacked and you know yeah. they're playing the victim card but uh, right and, you know that's on that's our compass you know whatever mm-hmm. 
but it's that's just me you know like, i feel it and that's why i've never really been complacent when yeah. being in a group mm-hmm. i have like my certain type of people that are into music car um, cars right. and I'm I'm a bit of everything, so exactly. And people say like, "Dude, you're weird." I'm like, "How is a whole wild card?" How is a wild card? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just add more colors to your life. You know, like, what do you expect? <laughs> Love to hear it. But um, yeah, I mean, eventually, you know, you gotta make something out of yourself. But who you surround yourself really pays a lot. It a makes lot. a big difference. Yeah. yeah, literally, dude. For sure. What do you have to say about the company you keep? The company I keep. I mean, like I said, I always observe people first and, like, see how they kind of are and, like... Yeah, you're a therapist now, huh? No, I mean, to <laughs> me, like, like you know, at the beginning, everybody wants to, like, be your friend and be, like, will be something they're not. And then, like, later on, as you go through time, you kind of, like, you start seeing, like, how they are as a person. No, yeah. for sure. You're like, oh, like... Oh, definitely. But I'd rather, like, distance myself from the beginning than, like, you know, like, get along and then, like, you know, have the whole, like, arguments, like toward the end no, right. and you know and then they'll, like just end up hating each other definitely yeah, and I, I also learned that you never get to finish learning about someone yeah so it's I know it may be scary but it's like that's how they are you know that's how they genuinely are and, and I learned that from a scholar here on campus you know really that kind of sh- like woke me up a bit I'm like you're absolutely right tell the story Javi <laughs> uh, you know I, you know I still wish her the best you know yeah it's just misunderstanding i guess or whatever right uh, you know i still wanted to see her win you know so. for sure <laughs> like you, you said last time everybody eats even if it's not at your table <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no but like um well how you was saying you know he still wants to see people succeed like i feel like the most genuine people are like even though like y'all don't get along and you still wish the best for people is um those are like the the ones that'll be there you know to yeah. always support mm-hmm. right definitely definitely and you know i think there was uh there was a different quote like all i can think of today are quotes that i've seen like around the world it's like if you want to know who somebody is like look at their friends or something like that like yeah and it's like that's it's crazy to think about you know um give an example carla <laughs> well i mean if yeah you, s- you put it on here on the spot <laughs> right, i mean this is right. podcast is for I mean, k bro <laughs> Shots. It's fired. podcast with a K, not podcast about K. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, like, uh, my dad likes to tell, like, whenever Charlotte and I were growing up, like, he would tell us all the time, uh, tanto peca el que mata la vaca como el que le agarra la pata. Mm, okay. So, I've like, never heard that one. I've never heard so that one. So he said this. Is that just a city thing? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> shut up. I don't know how much of these things are city <laughs> things or just, like, me personally <laughs> things. But, uh, you know, like, if you're surrounding yourself with bad company, like, you can't walk on fire without getting burnt, you know? Yeah, for like, sure. Like, I think that's the general okay. vibe of that saying. Mm-hmm. But sometimes um, you need to get burnt to, like, learn a lesson. I mean, yeah, that's a good point. You're right, bro. But yeah. you stay too long and you turn into ashes, <laughs> you know? That? <laughs> <laughs> that's how people burn you out, dude. Like, facts, come on now. Facts. Like, you, uh, like, there's only so much of yourself that you can sacrifice for the sake of somebody else. You know, right. For sure. And sometimes that's family, dude. Like, yeah, family, yeah. bro. Sometimes, like sometimes you gotta family yeah. off, bro. Yeah, oh, dude, like, for sure. And, you know, I learned that the hard way. Like, you know, my mom used to tell me that I was never going to have any friends because the real friends were going to be my balls because they were never going to leave me hanging. So, you don't espanol. What? Translated for me. Uh, for those that want to hear in Spanish, this is like. <laughs> Uh, mi mamá me dijo que no hay amigos en este mundo o en la vida. Mm-hmm. Que los únicos amigos van a ser tus huevos porque nunca te van a dejar. So what if you're a female, bro? <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> she said it to me, bro. Like, come on now. You know, put some there's, respect. There's got to be a female version, bro. You know, we got to include everybody. This is an example of a, what's it called? A okay. strawman fallacy? You <laughs> take true. one part of the argument to dismantle for no reason. <laughs> I mean, I'm not dismantling, but, you know, there's got to be inclusivity. <laughs> I, that's why I say it was for me, bro. You just, I was just translating. Come on, now you want to tell? I got you. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Um, I don't even know what to say at this point. <laughs> Carlos starts. Okay. Our mind will start it. Now he has to finish it. You know? no, no, no. Come on, boy. Just trying to hear the tea. What have you has to say? So you're just here for the tea, not even here, here for the, the actual yeah. show. No, I'm here wow. for I'm here for all you guys. So speaking about bad company. Bad company, you see that? <laughs> all right, all right, call me. No, I will say, <laughs> I will say, 
uh, hanging out with y'all this year has been like one of the most interesting like things because we did start like interacting, I think, through creativity, right? Like you had like I remember like we had I met you through new media. Like yeah. we had a class together. So, like I met you guys through like different aspects of life entirely. Right? Like I met you through a friend of and I think it was whenever I was It was when you first arrived, right? It, yeah, I had gotten here like year. fairly early. And I'm pretty sure like the first time we actually like hung out was whenever I was uh, running the ratchet salon. <laughs> well, yeah. I heard you you know, you were good with your hands. So I was like, hey, All right, let me come. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like for <laughs> hair, for <laughs> hair. Yeah, y'all wrong for that. Come on, now. y'all wrong. Uh, no, nah, but, but yeah. So I was doing yeah. hair, and yeah. you were you trying know, to go silver, right? Yeah, I was trying to go silver. Somehow but, uh, you ended up like bluish, tealish, green. I, <laughs> you know, you do both. I bleached it, you know, but mm. you know, it so, was worth the try. You know, coming to the salon, we got it pretty close to platinum, as yeah. far as we could away from the color. But like, I still have some pictures, dude. And I'm yeah, like, it was solid. And then I think this year I hung out with both of y'all like together. I didn't realize like this <laughs> was like a, a dynamic that was even possible. But we went to the to take pictures, right? Uh, I well, I it was before that because that, we, we we've done photo shoots. We had yeah, but yeah. I think the first time I don't we think that was the first time out. we three hung out. Was it? Wasn't it? Did we like hang out at the bar mm. or something? I mean, okay, yeah, like <laughs> okay, the whenever bar, we go, like yeah. that's different because like we're just like with everyone, but but trying to put our you know creative minds yeah. together, like, like that's what I'm saying. Like that's whenever I was like, oh shoot, <laughs> the creatives. <laughs> But yeah, we remember how he was like, you you know anybody else that's creative? Oh yeah, I <laughs> yeah. mean, yeah, certain people just bore you to death. Like they don't want to talk. They I just like, want to. I was like, nah, bro. Nobody, nobody has vision, bro. I <laughs> do <Dude>, the vision. <laughs> <laughs> so what what were you doing before the pre Javi Armando like, vibe? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I do hang out with like a variety of people just for like different, just to get a different vibe and yeah. stuff. So, but like it's what kind of vibes would you say have have you gotten i mean some you want to know everything huh? <laughs> some i mean, people, okay. I, mean yeah. no, I'll, I'll I gotta ask the it. questions that people want to know yo i thought oh. i was the one running this interview hold up <laughs> 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 no but like i mean some people are just shallow you know it's just small talk and i've talked about this on the show before with some yeah. people like every conversation is the same conversation you had before like yeah. you don't gain anything from it and i i do tend to think that like you learn something from everyone in every interaction that you have um so it's always you know more fulfilling when you genuinely gain something that's going to stick with you right so i mean like i said some people don't really have very much to offer but then there's other people who just kind of like everything that they say is has a level of like profundity right even if it's not on purpose just like there's depth to what people say and there's kind of a meaning that carries on like past the conversation and like those are always cool conversations to have so like that's the type of people that i seek out you know for sure yeah. interactions aren't like just like for the sake of interacting yeah. mm-hmm. so you're just like genuine conversations yeah like people who are willing to be real <laughs> <laughs> no nothing wrong with that you know nothing nothing wrong. Wrong like with some that. people will be flipping it up on you <laughs> and you know that's that's them but <laughs> i prefer she said them she don't want to say a name. <laughs> Yo, I'm not going to just <laughs> sit here like... Talk your shit. It's my death <laughs> network. Yeah, talk your shit. <laughs> <laughs> just shit. So we're not going to do is that. <laughs> uh, how about y'all answer the same question then? Okay, Mando? I think Javi should go first. Since, what you, you know, mean? He's, he's an OG seniority first. Ooh, right? All right. I'm giving guess. you the floor for now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you want to ask me? I mean, who, who is Mando? Like, who's mine <laughs> that's the real question that's the real thesis <laughs> like i mean everybody's perspective is different you know <laughs> all right but I we t- want to know yours that's the thing i talk to some people i talk to i don't talk to some people so all right, all right. you know everybody could like see me as their own version of you know for sure what they want to see you know that's and like, that goes for everybody too yeah. like some people you talk to and they're like oh like you know this person's cool or like some people are like oh you know like i've never heard this person talk or like you know like maybe they're just like they'll just like cast you off as like whatever you know yeah Mm -hmm. they never like you know there's always those people that just like uh like get five minutes of you and then they're just like uh whatever like i mean that's life bro yeah Yeah. you know it's just just gotta flip the page and keep reading (laughs) 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 this one is just full of quotes (laughs) (laughs) what do you expect bro you you gotta keep it moving uh what would you say uh about 
I mean, <laughs> <laughs> same question. <laughs> same question. Uh, but what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, y'all completely <laughs> skipped over the first question, which was, well, was the first question. about <laughs> about like who you interact with and who I interact with. I mean, yeah. What you I mean, mean, I already I answered. I was like, yeah. I don't have a f- specific group. I just you know who. I just move around, like I said. Right. I have different groups of people that have similar interests and core like, values. So yeah, that's that's about it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I like to like um get that vibe with people that like they seek more than like what is just like the standard, like oh, just a nine to five job, just to like work and then like retire, like um. It's so, like ambition. Yeah, uh, ambitious people, like people that just like seek out more than just the money. People that like want to like change the society or want to change the world, right? Or, like. Like, you know, just make a change. Mm-hmm. Like, it doesn't matter if it's, like, um, art or, like, politics or, like, um, writing novels or something. Just, like, s- s- people that want to, like, do something. That's fair, yeah. Like, people who... You're right, Mando. Are you I saying... Do you agree? <laughs> I, no, for real. No, it's, it's f- no, for real, but, like... So people that are ambitious and people who kind of have drive, right? Yeah. Like not just like drive. people who are like, oh yes, I will one day do things, but people who not actually just like people that put be in like, the work oh, to like, do the I thing. I want to get a BMW or like yeah. I want to like make money and like uh, what, get a nice house. Right. Like, people you know, who want to like have an impact. There's more to life than just like those things. are material things. You're not yeah. gonna carry it over with you like once you like pass. Like yeah. People are just gonna like forget. Like you know, I want like meet people that like want to like leave a legacy behind oh mm, the mando legacy <laughs> <laughs> I like <Los> that. <laughs> <laughs> um no that's that's interesting then like th- the use of the like word legacy as well right like yeah that's what i'm saying like, like just, you know how many people are in the world like how yeah. many people die every day and like people just forget right so would you say you're that type of person you're trying to leave a legacy i'm trying to leave a legacy um what i like we were talking about new media you yeah. know film like mm-hmm. think about how many films have impacted culture how many films have impacted decades like the right. centuries right That's, and like the media does like have an impact yeah. on people like there's things you relate to there's things that you never had thought of before like think about like uh, one of the first big films that was uh released what like 1920s 1930s yeah. was like um what was it um was that movie called? Was it Gone with the Wind? Yeah. Or? I mean, there is a movie called that. It, it was something to do with, like, black stereotypes. Um, I have no idea. There's a lot of movies out there in the <laughs> world. I mean, man. I thought you would know, Carlos. Oh, you. damn. Why I'm are y'all saying, just you, You're more cultured than me. me. <laughs> White. Nice. <laughs> but anyways, that film, um, it was, uh, it said a lot of, like, negative stereotypes for black people. And, mm-hmm. um. It said like what like um, what about black uh, mind- No, I'm saying this film. It was by like a oh. racist southerner. Mm. Oh, he shit. made it, he like a director. Yeah. Director. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh, really? Whoa. And it was like when film was just starting to become a thing. Really? Like, still black and white, and he he portrayed like black people as like uh, the stereotypes that are like thought of like what like yeah. white yeah, people yeah, think yeah. of today. For sure. And like that's what I'm saying. Like through history, you learn like oh, these yeah. things start somewhere. Mm-hmm. Like they don't just come out of like anywhere. Right. Mm. Yeah, I didn't understand what you were trying to say, but then yeah. you said director. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, like yeah. It, the movie was framed in that. Like, yeah, it was dude, framed in that. Holy oh, okay. cow, yeah. Word, word. That's um, wild, son. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's still some today. You know? No, there's no, yeah, for sure. It's low key about it. Like, mm, mm-hmm. just want to get my bagging. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> like, but, uh, oh, did you guys hear the Joker, by the way? Sorry, since we're Do tell, do tell. A uh, Joker, like. Like the movie? Yeah. What about it? We saw it together, right? No, but Carla, like, I went to see it. Of course, oh, I went okay. to see it. That was a good book. Yes, it was. Yeah, that was a good <laughs> All right, like but the uh, whole like '70s style like film. I genuinely liked the movie. I liked the whole like how he was like, he's his visions from like the beginning, and then like what he thought he was seeing, he didn't really see, and like yeah. he opened up his eyes. Uh huh. Like I, I mean, thought that was really cool. I feel like there were a lot of parallels to like modern day issues in the Joker. Oh, which was interesting sure. oh yeah for sure especially I, because you know it's a superhero movie <laughs> what do you think or about the whole controversy that we're like pu- putting around the movie like they're gonna inspire like craziness. i have so many thoughts about that man what you mean like like uh people so, were saying that like that movie was gonna like inspire mass shootings or like now if anything that's why it's a cautionary tale yeah, like 
that's how people treat other people. Yeah. Like, people, like, lose their minds because they just want to be a good person in this world. And right. Still, they get treated like yeah. that. You know? Mm-hmm. Which is, not, you know, shit happens to good people, but it drives you to, to that extent because you're like... Yeah. But There's, I mean, everyone has a breaking point. Yeah. Um, but, nah, I... People keep bringing up the shooting in Aurora. Oh. And there was kind of a rumor going around because uh, some article, I think, misrepresented a cop as saying that he heard the, the kid say that he was the Joker, the shooter. Um, but in, like, the time afterwards, it came out that the shooter never said that. Like, it was just kind of like a misconception, like a rumor that just took off on the Internet. And so that theater didn't show the Joker like the movie didn't screen really? there just kind of like uh out of i guess mm-hmm. thought for the families okay, okay. um but to me it's just kind of like this movie was so important in terms of kind of like talking about stereotypes and like you know th- the joker is like one of the worst vil- or i guess not worst like worst written but like the worst characters no, like he is not. truly evil for like the sake of being evil right um like whatever his backstory is, and that's what this movie sought out to do was yeah. give him a backstory. Yeah, this was everything like his, like his childhood. Yeah, like, this dude went through some tough shit. Yeah, you know? like this, High his key. trauma really like messed him up real mm-hmm. bad. And you and know. like throughout the movie, you're kind of rooting for him until he starts to shift into the Joker. Then you're just like, wait a second, like <laughs> I mean, I that's not the right path. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's a you thing, man. <laughs> No, but um, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, like even when going to his therapist, like we yeah. see that today. Like but the scene where he's <laughs> like, he's telling her, "You don't ever listen to me, do you?" I was just like, you know. <laughs> and I think people need to listen to someone like yeah. who needs help, like right. rather than call them crazy. You know, you're crazy for even thinking that. Yeah, you know? exactly. It it really does show the spiral of somebody who just needs somebody, right? Yeah. That movie was. Intense. I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah sure. I, I said it was like the most uncomfortable like two hours of my life, but it, it was, was so it worth it. It was real different. You thought it was uncomfortable? Yes, dude. You're on edge the whole time. Like, it's <laughs> oh, a well written sure. movie. But yeah. Would you say that's like something you want to do later on in the future? Leaves like a film legacy behind like that? Of course. Like I said, the goal is to be a director. That's, what I, that's all I want to do. What kind of genre do you think you would want to go um, towards? I very much enjoy the fact that, like, superhero movies are a thing right now. Super like, nice. to me, that's always in- been, like, super interesting. I've always loved comics. Um, but I lean more towards, like, action, action. like, films and stuff like that. Uh, and stuff that means something. Like, you know, there's comedies out there that are yeah. funny, that are, like, entertaining. You spend, like, an hour or two watching it. But then after that, like, what did you, you get? Other than just, it, yeah. yeah, you, you know. You want to do films like... Um people always talk about yeah stuff that's impactful the stuff that gets yeah i want uh, dude i want all the accolades (laughs) no just like stuff that impacts people you know stuff that people refer back to like some you know just with a purpose right that's the kind of like vibe i like from like people right see and like that's that's why this group right here is interesting that's why i wanted to have you on the show together like clubbing or like getting like messed up in the clubs (laughs) (laughs) how we said what's the movie like like, like, sports sports oh my god nothing wrong with drinking you know (laughs) i'm kidding i'm kidding there is something wrong (laughs) (laughs) there is a problem okay (laughs) college is no problem (laughs) this is a dry campus problem (laughs) <laughs> nah but yeah like you know there's more depth to people and there's more depth to i guess the reasoning why people do things yeah for sure um javi would you like to give us we should do, do a song break just because we've been talking for a minute oh yeah absolutely uh so i decided to choose <laughs> um i don't know why it's been on my mind and i was i keep hearing it on my way to work or Go just when it. I'm driving. Yeah. Um. It, it just doesn't happen by Destroyer. Anything else you'd like to say about it before we play it? Uh, it just doesn't happen. <laughs> All right. Here's okay. It Just Doesn't Happen by Destroyer. I actually really like that song. I listened to it before whenever I was downloading it to air, and it's a bop. Thank you. Thank you, Um. Like I said, it's it's a pop, but it's it's a good music. A li- uh, yeah, music. Yeah, music song to listen to on your way when you're driving or cruising. <laughs> 
Definitely. It has that vibe, you know? <laughs> you just kind of get lost in it. Yeah, if you want to get, you know, lost, that's a song. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a good one. <laughs> I will agree. That was the first year you were here? Yeah, when I first got here. Wasn't there, like, a lot of differences when, like, the first year compared to, like, your, like, your year now? Like... You mean all four years, I guess, now? No, like, oh, you know sorry. how, like, when y'all came, it was, like, just your cohort and, like... Um, but what what do you mean, like, my cohort, like, getting here? Or yeah, 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 you know, like, the whole, like, um, Hurley and then, like, you know, y'all were, like, starting to, uh, like... I mean, yeah, we were, all, we were all newbies, you know? Like, we just got to Easter and we're still trying to learn from it, you know? Yeah. What would you say, like, some of the biggest differences now compared to back then? Um, I guess... You're, you're, well, personally, me, it's my routine. You know, I'm always doing something different. Um, but I guess I would say the more diversity from us. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> um, before, like, when I first got here, like, my cohort, it was, that was, that was it. Like, nothing else. And a couple of Puerto Ricans, but it was a small percentage. Right. Uh, like, I'm not big enough to, like, actually, like, show yeah. the diversity yeah 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 at the time you know um there really wasn't much diversity you know and how many of um all of your cohort are there uh where right now yeah uh well a couple actually um you know lost their scholarships unfortunately oh, some wow. really just, yeah some couldn't like deal with it some were homesick and um some i get i think transferred to mm-hmm. yeah um because they didn't like eastern or whatever but uh for the most part um it's i still see the same people i met you know? yeah you know i i pay my respects you know like hey hello and you know keep it keep it going you know right you know no good no bad vibes you know hi that's it yeah keep it going um but you know it's my last year and for a lot of us too and we're kind of like uh I, I guess we have a lot of pressure as well. Right. Just being that first cohort, but just the label doesn't really mean anything. It's just Trailblazers out here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um for the most part I I I've enjoyed it, you know, um good or bad. You know, it's been a it's been a tough one. Uh met a lot of good people, you know, a bit of everything. But um I'm just beyond blessed. I, I made it this far and Definitely. like everyone else, you know, you're on your way too. And just ready to make good things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dang, a whole legend, bro. <laughs> <An> icon. <laughs> El Javi, bro. <laughs> There'll never be another one the like man, him. The man, the myth. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I just want to be me. You know, I'm a free thinker, and that's we it. We love to Would hear. Would you it. say you left a legacy behind? I mean, are you kidding? A legacy. <laughs> His I, reputation precedes him. I guess. Anybody need a whole statue here at Eastern? <laughs> all right, come on, time out. Like, I, I'm not the, all that. The man know. Javi was here at Eastern. Yeah, <laughs> you talk about me. That's it. Like that's, that's all I know. I just do me, do what makes me happy, and that's it. For sure, bro. Uh, last time you were on the show, you kind of talked about this, how you just, you do like to meet new people and help anyone out in any way you can. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, even if you're not set out, setting out to leave a legacy, just the the amount of effort that you put into each interaction, I think, is going to leave a legacy for you. Mm. Yeah, I, I didn't even think about that, you know. Yeah. Two um, perspectives, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she has a vision, bro. Has there a vision. you go. <laughs> You heard it here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've just been, I just, there's, there's too many bad things out. And it's always okay to show some good every now yeah. and then. So that's, m- again, my way of coping. Yeah. Just, hey, like, you're you having a bad day? Don't worry. Like, let's go out for two. Or yeah. It's on. Let's just go like out for <laughs> drinks. He's a chelas. If it's not one, it's two. You know? <laughs> nah, but, you know, be the light. Be yeah, the light. for sure. Even when I'm going through my shit, you know. Like yeah. I just want to help. Right. Because um, I, I know what it's like to have nothing. And yeah. So that's my, that's just me. It gives <laughs> you perspective, right? Yeah, like, for sure. Wouldn't wish your bad days on, on anyone, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we're just not the same people, you know. Like, right. Like, you, you want to be mad at me your whole life. Go ahead. Yeah, like, that's on you. <laughs> I just want you to be at peace. <laughs> right. <laughs> 
very uh very profound <laughs> <laughs> but mando you know i had a good i don't even remember how we met dude no nah, i didn't i don't think the first year i was here i actually talked to javi to really me. i don't think so yeah, I don't know. it was just it was from afar like oh yeah. that's that's mando okay <laughs> that <was> it, you <laughs> know? oh that's the lot i yeah. got you i don't by. even think i saw javi to be honest at first year <laughs> yeah. really i only yeah. saw this dude on pictures like that was it Dang. Dang. really yeah Parties. so do tell because i wasn't even here yet <laughs> oh this is the pre uh third cohort this is a pre carla days <laughs> yeah I, I would just see this we're having a good time you know everyone's having a good time just going out yeah that's just on social media and then <laughs> hold on time out <laughs> that, this is what my perspective yeah, right? yeah. tell us my right, perspective. it's how we turn the talk i hear these rumors that goes oh first core and second core going at it like they think uh first cohort is being cocky because they started everything yeah. you know like we started Ooh. this you know uh-huh. so. <laughs> and i'm sorry bro but uh, i remember jair told me this joke he's like man se quieren la mera verga and i'm like you're right bro but you're right but i'm like it, like if you want to be up there you got to do better you know? Ooh. Oh, you know, like, how we said get good or get got yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. If you want to make something in yourself, go for it. Like, yeah. You know? He's like, you're not lying, but like, you know, step it up. <laughs> yeah. You know, you want to make something out of yourself, go ahead. Nice, nice. Yeah. And I mean, at the time, I was I was on the soccer team, so I didn't really know much. But mm-hmm. every time when I try to catch up with anyone, um, it was just oh this and that, and you know, eventually everyone started going their own ways. But you know, that's all good. Yeah, I mean, that happens. People kind of go their own ways in life. Yeah. <laughs> so, But I, I kept mine just everywhere, you know. Yeah. And then Mando, like, I only knew you, bro, because of, um, I think it was Arturo. Yeah. Arturo? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You guys were just eating, and then, I don't know, I just said, what's up, and that was it. Where, like, oh. This was, I was like, hey, what's up, and that's it. I don't even remember that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that's why. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Yeah, we probably like probably just met at the bar and just started drinking together. <laughs> <laughs> the the chavas, way to chavas, make yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, drugs brings people together. Whoa. Okay, oh, no. no hugs, not drugs. <laughs> hugs, yep. not drugs. Don't do drugs, kids. Y'all remember that dare training in fifth grade? <laughs> I have that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I made the pledge never to uh, smoke, drink. <laughs> Sign that contract. <laughs> oh, y'all had a whole contract. Yeah, they gave us these little certificates that what? said, "I promise, I'm gonna be a good kid." Basically, uh, my school was bad. It was just, <laughs> just here, here's a red ribbon. That, you know, go away now. <laughs> Dude, no, they made us do the whole, like, the, the, the goggles pledge. thing, and they made us sign the pledge, and, like, everything. It was, like, a whole thing. What happened? Wow. Well, I mean, th- this is, like, in fifth grade. We were, like, <laughs> 10. Nothing happened. They were just, like, hey, guys, just <laughs> for future right. reference, don't do it. Right, right. Uh, but, but, you know, kids be out here well then. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, like... And that's how more kids come out. <laughs> This fool. No, I remember, in, <laughs> dude. I remember in middle school, like after the spring formal, someone was like, "Yo, after party at uh, Javon's house." And I was like, "What? Who? After party. We're like twelve. What, what do you mean after party?" Uh, well, y'all yeah, were gonna like sip juice boxes. And <laughs> <crackers>. <laughs> <laughs> like, mom, we're done. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> granted, it's also like nine or something at night, right? Because mm-hmm. it's middle school formal. <laughs> Right, right. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to say the kid's <laughs> name, but I mean, <laughs> what y'all? <laughs> yeah, you gotta throw it. Yeah, that's say, it. Say, it. say names. I, I don't know how y'all are gonna track someone down that I knew when I was like twelve or thirteen. But okay, okay shit. Sorry. <laughs> nah. Um, I don't even know what I was gonna say. After this. <laughs> nah, you good. You yeah, good. We're entertaining Carla, bro. <laughs> this, like I said, I was I was hyped to have this combination in particular on the show just because. Y'all are amusing kids. How long were you waiting for it? Um. Well, actually, we talked about having Javi back on the show before, and then it just wasn't declared. That's all. Like, it, it, wasn't, yeah, it paper. wasn't official. Yeah, it, it was just kind of like uh, whenever everyone's like available at the same time, and then he was like, "What if we got Mundo on the show too?" And I was like, "Ooh, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like Mundo, very interesting." Like, so he need to come out the room, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Or his closet, you know, it's 2019, you know, it's, oh. it's okay. Nah, man. It's not me, bro. I respect people that, like, you know, like go through their stuff, but, like, you know, it was a joke. <laughs> um, 
Nah, but it's it's been really fun to have you guys on here, and I'm glad that you decided to actually come on the show. Yeah, bro, I appreciate it too. I remember yeah. I asked Sometimes you. You got to come out your room. <laughs> <laughs> exactly my point, you know. <laughs> I'd asked you whenever we first started hanging out if you would ever be on the show because you mentioned that you'd listen to it before, and at first you weren't sure. You didn't if you wanted to be on the show. <laughs> And yet, here you are. Yeah, Y'all can't see it, obviously, because it's a radio show. I but mean, I had to, like, observe what kind of person you were for. Observe. Like, he ooh. said observe. 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 He's, picky, observe. he's picky about who he chooses. Yeah, apparently. Hmm. But okay. I would just like to point out that Mondo has, like, show notes, like, for I mean, himself. I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> show notes. You, you ever see me, like, hang out with people I, I don't really it. vibe with? I Maybe mean. Not. Nah, you're good. You're no, good. That, no, that's, that's, that's how you roll, bro. No, I'm that's saying, like, that's cool. I've really enjoyed getting to, like, uh, know this dynamic more. It's been nah, it's cool. It's all fun and games, you know. It's all fun <laughs> <and games. laughs> also that, also that. <laughs> but um, I mean, what's been your your opinion so far of being on the show? Yeah, or? it's pretty lit. I see that you're going places, and like one day there's gonna be a plaque here that says Carla Pacheco. <laughs> there better be shoot. <laughs> no, but, um, FM radio. And she's gonna have this it's video too. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the name, Carla Pacheco. Pacheco. That's Carla with a K. Get it right. <laughs> <laughs> Carla with a K. No, but you, <laughs> <Okay. so laughs> but you listened to the show before you yeah, actually came on. So. Oh, you see? He was, he's trying to see what kind of yeah, person you are. Yeah, he was trying to like get yeah. a read, bro. He was like, let me see if I can break I've been it. taking notes and everything, did my research. Whoa, right, he secretly time has out, buddy. like a whole like notebook of just like <laughs> f- uh, feedback and critique. Like, um, this is what you say, and this is what you eat. And <laughs> this is what time you use the rest. It's already 1223. It is. You got to sleep or? I mean, I got work gotta tomorrow. Bedtime. Eight, but well, like, the show work, goes on. Bro. The show must show go on. <laughs> There was this movie. Um, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got 200k? Bro? Uh, no, I don't. I don't. I. This is gonna be uh, <laughs> really fun for me to edit. <laughs> no, no. But uh, there was uh, another movie I recently watched. Oh no no no! TV show. That's what it was. Oh. TV show. Yeah, it's on Hulu. Uh, you should watch it. It's called This Is Us. Is it actually good? Yes. Is it actually? Yes. What's it about? I see the ads for it all the no. time, and I'm like, oh, it's a no, good, man. It's, it's good. <laughs> it's good. I'll, I'll trust your judgment. I'll give it Only a shot. Only because, like, I like, well, I finally find a good show. Yeah. But for the most part, I like a lot of, you know, like, tragic things. Mm-hmm. Especially. Like st- dramas. Yeah. Uh, especially because um, this individual was, like, an uh, orphan. Uh-huh. Well, he got adopted. Right. But his dad left him in in front of a fire station mm-hmm. so he, you know he got adopted and on that same night this other couple was supposed to have triplets mm-hmm. but one of them passed away oh dude yeah and so the two babies that were born were right next to the mm-hmm. other baby keep got in, you keep in mind it's two caucasians and you know the black baby yeah know? and so they take them in uh-huh. you know and it goes on to like you know growing up and showing how the brother and the other brother didn't get along. Yeah. And all that um, good stuff. But then he becomes a successful, like, like businessman. Like, he has his whole family. Like, he's living right. his good life, you know, uh-huh. through all this shit. But then he inter- um, reconnects with his father yeah. and abandon him. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so... It's pretty intense. You should check it out. Yeah, know? I was about to say, it sounds intense. Yeah. Like, I'm into it just from that description. How many episodes, bro? Uh, there's it's been out for like a couple seasons. Oh, really? Four seasons. Four oh, seasons. Yeah, it's oh, actually, nah. yeah. it's actually good. How many, like, one hour episodes or like 30 minutes? Uh, an hour. An hour? Oh, yeah. That's a whole what? That's, yeah, that's going to be my, uh, that's going to be what I watch over break <laughs> <laughs> whenever I'm on break at work. <laughs> All right, I'll I'll check it out. No, you know Speaking what? Speaking about movies, like Carla, what'd you think? Uh, you said you're not a big fan of anime, but um, there was this recent uh, anime uh, movie I have showed you. Yeah, you forced me to watch anime. Did I force you to watch? It? <laughs> what it is was, this anime movie? It was good. It's, it's called, called Your, Your name. name. You should watch it, Javi. Your name. Yeah. Tell me more. So. The tr- dude from the trailer we watched the trailer first and i was like what do you think like just watching the trailer okay so first. just watching the trailer i was like oh i kind of like this storyline okay. so basically it starts off kind of like with a freaky friday concept did you think it was a so, film you would like just like see the plot and like know the ending or no like... no no you don't expect anything that no happens. i'm saying from the trailer not even from the trailer okay, okay. so like 
uh, these two kids wake up and like they're in each other's like bodies in each other's lives. And it's, I think, a girl from like rural Japan and a guy that lives in Tokyo. And they trade off and then they realize that they're switching off. And so they're kind of living each other's lives for each other. Like, like at first they think they're dreaming and then like later on they like you realize yeah that they leave messages for each other like um mm-hmm. saying like oh this is what's going on and yeah like, because they don't have any obviously they don't know what's going on because they were too busy living the other day's life so they would uh leave notes on each other's phones and be like hey today i talked to this person and this is uh you know where y'all are at now mm. and so like whenever they would switch back they would have to like catch up on their own lives and so at this, first, this reminds me of a book it actually. sounds like so, yeah you, um have you read every day Yes. Oh, exactly. Wait, yes. Okay. Just like that. Yes. Okay. Just like that. Come on. Similar. Yeah, but it's like it's that concept, so right? So it's every day. Um, so elaborate. Um, Happy. <laughs> uh, for those that are listening, um, every day it was one of the first books I've ever read. <laughs> like in middle school, like genuinely, like you didn't start the- reading until middle school. <laughs> Well, I read books, but like, what yeah, I'm trying to say is hobby. a chapter book. Like, he's, you know, like, Jared 19, everyone had read yeah. his hobby. That's what I'm saying, Phil. 13, middle hey. school, and only just then learned how to read. You know. Wait, like, they made it into a movie? Yeah. Movie. Yeah, I saw In it. I saw it. I oh, really? Yeah. Bro. Live action or animated? It's live, live action. action. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's called, um, it's, it, it's okay, called so Every Day uh-huh. by David. David Levithan. Levithan, yep. Uh, so this big on this book, um, just to sum it up real quick, um, it's about this like, quote unquote, like spirit, and he wakes up in a different body, male or female, or like any like, self-identified um individual at the time, um, and he has to like um experience the family and like what that individual does, but then he falls in love with this girl. Oh. Yeah, he falls in love with this girl, and. Whether he wakes up as a girl, he still tries to reconnect with her, because he he just felt like in love and he oh, wants to be with her. Yeah, yeah. It's, so it's kind of the same concept. It's yeah. uh, keep going. I want to like see like <laughs> the similarities. And so like the same thing, um, he has an email, and he's trying to like write, jot down notes about what he, this individual does and where he lives and the password and all this, and so. There comes a time where this one individual was stranded in the middle of the street. This is in the book. Mm-hmm. And, like, he doesn't know where he is. And then he says he felt something. He felt possessed. And so the spirit forgets to log off, off of his email. And so he sees everything and reads everything. And then he sends something to the spirit saying, hey, I know what you did to me. I'm going to tell I got possessed, et cetera, et cetera. And then I'm not, yeah that's it it's yeah. crazy yeah, I don't want to ruin the ending, <laughs> yeah, don't spoil it. it's good but okay so kind of a similar concept okay. with your name um, but it's like it's two people and I, I don't like the plot twist is the, the timeline right yeah so like it turns out like don't give up well I don't want to give up just no like no spoilers uh, it's so hard to explain it without <laughs> spoilers okay. but like it. you have to watch it it's, but it, it it's does really sound good. the same you yeah know, like, so that's what they, they kind of like live for each other and then they have to but realize it, but they're the same people right Yes. Same people. So it's more like deja vu episodes. Uh, in a way. In a way. In a way. Like I really do want you to see it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it sounds like it. That's what yeah. I'm getting. Yeah. So, uh, what was the original? Oh, anime. So would you say um, it changed your whole perspective on the? Uh, not on the entire like. <laughs> no, but like what you said, uh, I can't like. So I just like I said, I just kind of had had bad experiences with anime and like anime fans but that's just like uh, they make it like weird. i know oh, they were like fans. Fans. she's attacking oh oh my god stop it was just like <laughs> <laughs> it was just kind of like individual incidents and i just yeah. it was never my oh, thing either right. like not same same with me like i didn't get into anime until like i started like just uh, um watching it for myself yeah so i always thought it was like oh those like it's kinda, like very uh, particular things right those people that are just like too into it, like right. watch it and like make it about their lives. But like, no, nah, it's just like watching like. What film. about them, bro? They're still people. You know? No, I'm saying nothing still wrong people. with it. But like, there comes a time when like you're focused on like. Says who? Like your interests can't be your personality. Yeah. I mean. They, they, I mean they can, <laughs> but. 
yeah exactly. <laughs> I'm your life, but like i'm saying like that that's what turned me no off. yeah like, like that's it, what, to me it what? just turned you like, like, like away from getting, it yeah from oh okay, okay to me it just kind of seemed like it became like their entire lives and yeah. i'm like i don't i don't know if yeah, i have the yeah. time to, for this but like i so my experience with anime like had really just been uh like the studio ghibli films just because yeah. like they're popular right and like um have, we used to check out movies from the library and so we were like oh the, the cover <laughs> art looks cool so we would go to the library every week and just check you out movies film by its cover dude some graphic designer put in work for that cover and you will respect it <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> no but like so i did like some of them like spirited away to this day freaks me out like it's Spirit, like, yeah it again. spirited away no, i have to watch that that's on my list you you haven't seen it no never heard of it really it's it's big um but to this day it freaks me out i liked howl's moving castle i think uh would you recommend that yeah so these movies like they're popular like they're not bad um what's the other one? Oh, totoro you guys know totoro i've heard of it anyway so that, that had been like my experience just like the uh in terms of like films i never really watched any of the shows like uh just in general just, yeah there's a lot to watch um, and I had friends that were into it, but I just never gave it a chance. Uh, but would you say that like that um, movie was really good? At least pushed you to like kind of accept a little bit more. Like, yeah. So watch like, in give recent, it a try. yeah, in recent years, I've been a lot more open to just like watching all types of content. Like mm. I'm not as like I don't know pretentious as I used to be. Uh, but yeah, I would definitely give it another try because that movie was genuinely good. And it's since it's from like a different I guess culture. Yeah. The way that storylines are handled is different. Like. If you watch an American film, you can pretty much expect that there's going to be a happy yeah. ending, right? British and Canadian things, I think, and French stuff too in the particular, the ending is always like, it's never truly happy. It's more like bittersweet or yeah. it has like a dark like mm. underlying message. Like things are okay, but they might not be. Like that's all. <laughs> I feel like that's Realistic a vibe with endings. a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, I guess in a way. Um, but it was really interesting, especially like the way that the plot twists were yeah. done in that in the movie that we've seen uh it was really really interesting to see because like i said uh, you don't expect anything that happens and the way that it happens even when you try to figure it out something else happens in the movie and it just shifts it entirely away you just can't guess anymore how it's going. yeah you just have to kind of watch it i remember i was asking like wait wait wait, what happened you you just kept saying shut up just watch it (laughs) and like it's a very um impactful movie yeah like you do take something away from it yeah i know tears were shed that night (laughs) I did, I refuse to admit that. <laughs> <laughs> no shame, no shame. No shame. I'm a cancer. What do you expect? Your own. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Wait, speaking of cancer and zodiac signs, let's uh, jot down some Javi uh, personality types and let's Jeez. look it up later and see. <laughs> Javi's a Leo as far as Leo, I remember, bro. right? Hell yeah. Do we want to get into astrology at this hour I mean, of the night? I mean, it's uh, past midnight. Might as well. All right, so we're getting into it. <laughs> yes, yeah, so. well, you should jot down, and then we'll um, we'll see if it lines up or not. Well, see, here's the thing, and this is something people overlook. We talked about this last week, actually, on the show. You're not just your main sign; that's your sun sign. You also have mm-hmm. a rising sign yep. and a moon sign. That's so how you find your soulmate. Apparently, <laughs> apparently. I mean, oh, I'm, there's, just, I'm just trying to know this now. There's <laughs> there's other things that relate to it, and it matters. I think the information you have to know is where and at what time you were born. And so based on mine, I'm a cancer sun, cancer rising and like an Aquarius where, like, moon. Like if you're like born in Mexico, it's a whole different like geographical location. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so like if you happen to know, then, you know, then you can find that out. But, uh, so like for mine, Aquarius is surprisingly enough, an air sign and air sign yeah elaborate cancer is the water sign there's four types there's, oh the four elements yeah <laughs> air water earth okay fire <laughs> avatar air and that's when the fire nation attack <laughs> oh i did watch avatar speaking of okay. animes and stuff but um yeah so aquarius are st- like stereotypically uh more visionaries no they're well yes but they're also more like logical like yeah, practical except for cancers are supposed to be like more emotional and sentimental and so i mean everybody shows emotions in their own ways so right but it's an interesting combination to be a cancer and an aquarius because like for example 
I may or may not have cried during that movie, but also I refuse to admit it. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like that feeds into the whole uh, cancer sentimentality. But the Aquarius, like, no, never show any sort of emotion ever. So are you an Aquarius or Cancer? I'm a Cancer, oh, okay. but I'm an Damn, Aquarius. Bro. Moon. If we get it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, June baby, all the way. Um, I wish you guys knew that so y'all could like look yours up and discuss. <laughs> but alas. So right. Javi's a Leo. Yeah. Oh, you just look it up, girl. Like, you look it up. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Give her time. I, I Come on. You think I'm just on my phone for fun during my show? No. Everything I do is with a purpose. <laughs> You're absolutely right. <laughs> absolutely right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So um, Leos are fire signs. Fire fuego. So Leo, what month is Leo over? What? July into August. Oh, July into August. Yeah. Yeah. So, according to Google, you know, the most <laughs> accurate of places. Google. <laughs> uh, typical Leo personality traits. Uh, vivacious. Lives a good life. Natural leader. Lives protective. Life. Yeah, that's him. Uh, <laughs> this is popular, but also uh, seeks approval. Um, <laughs> is that Javi? I don't know, Javi. Is that Javi? Uh, who is Javi? <laughs> who is Javi? <laughs> answer who the is question. Javi? It's your turn, I who? guess. Who is Javi? <laughs> I don't have the answers, girl. <laughs> it's a mystery. Even Javi doesn't know who's Javi. <laughs> like Dang. I said, bro, you never get to finish learning about a person, bro. Um, you got to keep growing, bro. Oh, facts. But, okay, bold, intelligent, courageous. And these are all, like, traits of fire signs. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I feel like Javi's fire, bro. But something, and this is just, like, me going off of, like, yeah. my personal, like, research into astrology. When by research, I mean mm. just reading people's <laughs> horoscopes. <laughs> research. <laughs> research. <laughs> no, but, like, typically Leos get, what, like... What's the website? Is it, like, a dot .com? Dot it's, like, astrology.com, bro. I don't oh. know. I'm, I'm, sure it's dot .edu or dot .com or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, of scholarly reviewed articles. No, but Leos traditionally <laughs> get... Uh, <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> the reputation of being like uh like the thing said like self-centered or just kind of like i'm right you're wrong right and uh my roommate's also a leo and she does she does this on purpose just to like antagonist <laughs> she's one? like uh fio oh, okay. shout out fio the leo <laughs> <laughs> um but she'll be like uh in any like discussion or anything she's just like no i'm right i'm fio i'm a leo goodbye <laughs> like literally word for word uh but what happens when you prove them wrong they're still right. You can't be Leo. <laughs> no, but that's uh, just like traditional things. And like Leo is the lion, right? King of the jungle, like that mm -hmm. type of mentality. But uh, I think something that people tend to set aside is that like if, Leo, if a Leo is like that, it's for a reason, right? Like a Leo will put in the work to like have what they have. And I mean, that sounds like Holly pretty much. I know. As I'm telling you, I do like I'm reading trying to astrology. Listen, so a Leo will accurate, work for I, what they I have. I wouldn't say that. I'm just listening. I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay, this is no. This is no. But also, like, you don't get to the top by yourself, right? And so, like, Leos aren't typically self-centered. Leos, uh, like, Leos are willing to put in the work and work with others to get to where they need yeah, to be. A whole CCE leader, you know. <laughs> yeah, man, you got to make a difference somehow, bro. Okay. Yeah, but um. I, if I'd have had to guess what sign you were without knowing, I would have probably said Scorpio. Scorpio? Yeah. What's the traits on Scorpio? Scorpios are uh, similar to Leos, but Scorpios are water signs. And Scorpios have a reputation for being kind of like just more uh, clever and cunning and um, like scheming. All right. Uh, if you're a Scorpio, you know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I don't know. I feel like Leos are usually more like out there right and like i don't know if it was out there i don't know if we talked about it like on the show last time but like just kind of like observing you know like you're more the type to instead of being the person that's uh walking into the room like hey pay attention to me you like to like walk in and yeah get i'm a just sense of what's going on yeah i don't make a whole scene i'm yeah to myself i sit if you want to say hi that's it but. yeah <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there like compatib compatibility of like what other zodiac signs you get along with? Yeah, there is like an entire. So what does a Leo get along with? I, I was about to say okay. I know there's compatibility, but I don't know them like off the top of my head. Yeah, but typically, research, like huh? okay, so typically signs get along with their elements. So if Leo is a fire sign, Leos would get along with Sagittarius, Aries, and I don't remember what the fourth one is. Mm -hmm. I think. Well, personally, I don't think yeah. I'd get along with my own, pe like 
Leo with your own is, zodiac yeah, sign? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know why. Like, um, I've met them, but it's like, all right, you're weird. <laughs> <laughs> and see, that's you're where your rising and your moon sign would come into play, but you don't know like, them. Like, you're, you're like this is your, this is my territory, <laughs> territory, and this is your. You know, yeah i mean lions are territorial Hmm. (laughs) leo's be like so if you want to cross a mine you know that's that's (laughs) for another story (laughs) but yeah what's your zodiac sign a virgo i want to know what the compatibility is you said virgin is that what you said (laughs) a virgo Virgo. Uh, virgos are supposed to be more like uh practical and organized and structured people uh more chill like laid back but also like uh diligent workers like virgos are the planners of the of the zodiac signs would you say you relate to that i would say i relate to most of it yeah i wouldn't know what's like the compatibility with virgos that's what Hmm. like who can i get along with who i can't get along with yeah See, and like I said, I don't know, like, all the compatibilities off the top of my head. Like I said, I just know that elements tend to get along, like, with them, mm-hmm. like, their, like, yeah. group of elements. Oh, I didn't know about elements. That's something yeah. new I didn't know about. Yeah, so each sign is, like, its own thing. The water signs, I know, are... Wait, what's Virgo's uh, sign? Virgo, I think, is air. Air? Air or earth. Air, like the air nomads off of Avatar? <laughs> sure. Let me look this up. I don't want to tell you wrong. <laughs> <laughs> ah, wait, you're doing your research. That's I know. I'm looking up horoscope.com. Yeah, Mando's time. really into this stuff now. Really That's what it seems like, you know? There he's you really go. interested in this. This nah. is uh, He's going to base his life off of his horoscope. He's <laughs> 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 like, yo, wow, that blew my mind. <laughs> he's going to look up. I have to wake up every day and like read my uh, horoscope. horoscope. Huh? You know, that's actually, like, what got me to start, like, uh, kind of caring more about it. Because I would no. read the horoscopes. You read it every day? No. So, on on Facebook, there used to be, like, a little, like, game app thing. And it would, like, send a notification of, like, your horoscope, right? And so, I would read the ones for other signs. And I wouldn't relate to them at all. And I'm like, wait, is it possible that this is a thing? Okay, Virgo is an earth sign. Earth sign. Earth sign. And yeah, what's earth? Uh, Earth signs are um more, like... Uh, I guess, uh, I don't want to say grounded just because earth sign, but like uh, more (laughs) like centered, like you know what you need to do to get to a certain point and that's what you're going to do, right? Earth signs are more, I guess, direct in what they do. Um, Everything they do is like for the reason of doing it. Uh, They're less spontaneous, but that doesn't mean that you're not willing to take a risk um whereas like fire signs are more likely to be uh i guess just kind of spur of the moment type things right but i think air signs are the most uh whimsical of whimsical. the signs yeah <laughs> whimsical <laughs> whimsical <laughs> like an air sign will just do whatever just for the sake of doing whatever oh they're the people pleasers sure yeah people please okay <laughs> what, what month are those I, I gotta know this the air signs yeah uh, i think you should bring that up next time i think you should really look into this <laughs> and tell us more about it because i think you would do a good job with it no that's too much work <laughs> what you mean bro like, got, you seem interested <laughs> yeah but come I got, on be I a got, better virgo I got, I, got <laughs> I got like homework to worry about you know i mean this is your homework podcast yeah, is there you go. officially oh. is assigning homework there we yeah, go. But, like you're already booked <laughs> for the semester i'm not gonna be on until maybe nah, next so you, squeeze in. yeah dude i can i can just add another uh, time you can slot. postpone for other people and then we get first dibs there, there you go there you go or if on, anything bro. do your homework over break I'll we'll come back homework. in january and you can tell us everything that you learned say less i'll write everything down and like align the stars he's gonna come in with like a whole like map the whole like uh location bro i'm gonna see you in the planetarium like every day just mapping the coordinates and seeing what it all means <laughs> next thing you know i'll discover a whole new universe or some shit bro <laughs> <laughs> buzz aldrin who <laughs> nah like i don't know to me astrology is fun but sometimes stuff is just too accurate bro do y'all believe in reincarnation i have a theory kind of um which it is, is and ins- it's not necessarily like reincarnation it's like conspiracy theory time. no it's not conspiracy theory <laughs> although we can do conspiracy theories no I reincarnation understand. first uh 
so it's not like you die and like you immediately just you know you're born into something but do you think like your life if you were a good person like later on so yeah i don't think it's like that i think uh you know your life ends and And then you know heaven or hell no so like say that that's say your that, interpretation bro, bro I'm, I'm, I'm trying to i'm trying to say it. i'm trying to say it. say that you like and uh, like your life is over here right in this plane of existence right okay. and then uh god's like yo round two or and so then you just kind of get to pick if you want to like you want a free pass like, here you go, <laughs> like i'll be like hell no <laughs> damn bro like get me out of here I mean, I would say, yeah, I'm trying to fly. So <laughs> shit. You're trying to come back as a bird? Hell yeah, yeah. I'm like, all right, bitches. Y'all can, y'all can be scared of me. <laughs> he says that now, but watch him come back as a penguin. Birds aren't real, bro. Birds <laughs> aren't real. Bro. Birds aren't real. You're right, you're right. I'll be, oh a, my God. I'll be a pig now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy because I got two other people to say birds aren't real on this station. <laughs> Y'all want that theory? Get us. I don't know. I'm going to get taken down by the Illuminati or something. <laughs> Birds aren't real. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Wait, so what are your thoughts on reincarnation? You can't just ask a question and then not answer it. Wait, we didn't hear Javi's perspective and then we'll hear mine. I he just said he's going to be a bird. Uh, come on now, bro. Like, you got to listen. <laughs> I thought That's you were an observer. That's it? Just a bird? Bro. Why a bird, though? I'm trying to see what's out there. Bro. What up there, bro? In the world. He's like, I'm tired of being grounded. Bro. Ooh. Yeah, because I want to be... Up here, not below, bro. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> if you want to stay where you are, that's cool. But I'm trying to uplift myself. You hey, know? there's so, that ambition we was talking so about. Go, <laughs> Love to hear it. Reincarnation? Me, I personally don't believe in it. No? No. Elaborate. I just like, I just don't believe in it. But there's a reason, right? I mean, it's just like logically, just like logically. Mm. I mean, if you think about it, like mm. you come into like another, like think about it, like the Can human population, see? like uh-huh. is keeps increasing. So, like, right. how many souls are there? Like, is there like a certain like? But what's to say this number? is the only plane of existence? See, but that's what I'm saying. There could be other things. So, how is this not an option? Yeah, I mean, just for me personally. It's like <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what comes after this life, Wanda? To be honest. That's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> Wait. Or not figure out. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's like something I'm like. All right, time out, buddy. Think about now. Yeah, you really need to think about it. <laughs> you know, I'm open to like different perspectives and different thoughts. Right. I'm not saying we're right. It's just, you know, like. Yeah. No, I just. You I, know, we're, we're like fed like one certain perspective. Like, right. That's just like based on where we're born and like what, like our culture is, you know. Mm-hmm. But like you're kind of taught what to believe. Yeah, you're kind of taught to what you believe. So you know you need to go out there and just question life and just question things. Such as are birds real? Yeah. Hmm. No, that's. I mean, that's like a good perspective is, like, is for like sure. Bigfoot real? Or Ooh. I mean, I mean, chupacabra real? Which chupacabra. is real? You know? <laughs> like, am I real? Like, <laughs> come is on, any now, of this real? real? Like, <laughs> this podcast isn't even happening right now. It's a figment <laughs> of your imagination. <laughs> Wake up. Mm-hmm. I mean, there don't be days where you just like, you just like automatically, you just randomly think like, shit, what if this is all just. But that's like how innovation. powerful the mind is. Yeah. yeah. Like, we sleep on it. Yeah. Have so y'all, much. do y'all know the the last Thursday theory? Last I think Thursday that's what theory? it's called. It's been a while. You have to re- 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 Okay. So basically, the theory is that everything in life has only existed since last Thursday, and all of your like quote unquote memories are either just fabrications of your own imagination. Or they've somehow been like implanted into your memory. Like nothing before last Thursday exists or was ever real. Is this a theory or like? It's oh. a theory. Mm-hmm. Like how did this theory came into being though? Like, Bro, I don't know. I just heard it <laughs> yeah, and I thought it was like, interesting. Like, she, she knows what she knows, bro. <laughs> <laughs> She's just trying to introduce it to you. Okay. you know? So that's, that's the all. theory. I mean, because how are you going to prove otherwise? How are you going to prove that anything else existed if the only way that you have to prove it is just because you remember it? I mean, there's like what, like recorded things, like you know, broadcast. Yeah, but like, all of that just started existing Thursday. Oh, it's the same thing as um, the, I think the Mandela effect. Yeah, kind like, of. Like yeah. the Bearstein Bears. Like, right, like you just kind <laughs> of yeah. shift into yeah, existence. Yeah, they changed the, like the, the whole spelling. I'm like, yeah. No, nah, that wants to be wrong. Like, of course, it's wrong. Right. Like, <laughs> elaborate on this Mandela effect. Huh? Wow. So. I know growing up they had the Bearstein Bears, it would spe- it would be spelled B. 
I think it's B E. Yeah, B E. And then they put a A in it, so it's B A R E. Oh, yeah. yeah. So Just they would change. Yeah, they would change the wording. There's other like um like products and like. Yeah. like so yeah. Let me let me bring. It, show yeah, it. yeah, yeah. It. So basically, uh, the Berenstein Bears. Oh wait, no, it's Berenstein versus Berenstein, yeah. right? Like Berenstein. it's spelled wrong, and uh, it's crazy because everyone kind of supposedly misremembers it as being spelled either Berenstein yep. or Berenstein, Nine. like either with an E or an A. And bro, I was a spelling bee at the same time that we, I was reading the Berenstein Bears. I know for a fact it was with an E. <laughs> no, for sure. It's like same thing with Looney Tunes. Yes, dude. Looney Tunes. Um, yeah, Looney Tunes. Uh, tunes as in cartoons versus tunes yeah. as in music. Which one do you think is the real one? Oof. Was it yeah, Looney exactly, Tunes or Looney right? Tunes? They had some of the Flintstones too. Wait, what's the Flintstones one? The Flintstones. So, so the Flintstone is spelled on the left, F L I N S T O N N E S. Yeah. So Isn't Flintstones versus Flintstones. Yeah. Isn't it Flintstones. See, there Should you be. go. See. <laughs> <laughs> people are probably listening. Like these people are whack. Like, they're thinking these. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean, that's why Carla invited us. Yeah. To yeah. make this place. Carla wants to culture people. Of course. There you go. I like I said, I love having people on here sharing their opinions and their views and everything. Exactly. This is what I live for. I love learning from others mm-hmm. and every interaction. Yeah, um, they have some of Skechers too. Like it's, Yeah, okay. It's, it's, Did Skechers have a tea or not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, dude, there was another. Oh, wait. I mean, the Mandela yeah. effect started because of Nelson Mandela. Oh, really? So, a lot of people remember learning that he either died in prison, or he's still alive. And like you know, it's just his death, old age. Right. Yeah, I think Epstein. The whole wait, wait. No, stop. <laughs> stop. First, tell me the Mandela thing. Oh my god. <laughs> what happened to Nelson Mandela? Didn't he die of old age? We just told you. <laughs> like, do do you remember learning that? No, I don't remember learning that. Exactly. Is so that's, that's how that's it came about. That's the Mandela about. effect because yeah. people don't remember that. Like, apparently, the timeline shifted or something, and so now everyone remembers it differently than it actually happened. So, like, that's one of the bigger examples of it. Um, I know there was another incident where it was like a movie named either Shazam or Kazam. I think uh, I've heard of that. Yeah, and like people remember it being with a different actor or something. And like turns out one of them never existed and the Wait. other one did. So which one's the one that really existed? So yeah, the Mandela effect is just like these weird incidents like of people Twilight's misremembering. Kind of yeah, yeah. People just misremember things supposedly. But like think about it. If this is like mass like instances of it, how many of these little things <laughs> are just you like personally misremembering something? You see that? Yeah. Like Looney Tunes. Like Tunes. T O O N S. I mean, but then you see T O O N S, and then you have Tunes like T U N E S. So it's I mean, like, I always remember being as like, like you know, T O O. Yeah, like <laughs> cartoons, right? Exactly. But apparently. Yeah, it's kind of like mine, like blown because I was like, oh. Damn. Yeah, and so what I was saying is, if that's just everyone misremembering it, how many things do you personally misremember because only you shifted timelines or universes or something, whatever the explanation is for the Mandela effect? <laughs> <Ta-da>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, as our time draws to a close, Pretty wild. Much. Thank you, Carla, for having us. It's, for it's, sure. It's Thank y'all time. so much for being on the show. Anytime. Uh, any final things you'd like to share as we sign off? Y'all make sure y'all um, this two hour get special. your sleep and uh, stay healthy, you know, for finals and everything. You know, yes. seek counseling if you need it. Yes, indeed. Javi? Oh, yeah. I didn't know you were <laughs> done, bro. Like, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> um, he gave you the nod. That means uh, continue. I'm sorry. I'm, my mind is all over the place. <laughs> it's the, the whole Mandela effect. <laughs> 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 Calm down. All right. Calm down. We saw something else. He saw something else. You know? Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> all right, buddy. Uh, but, um, you know, thank you, Carlo, again. It's, it's always fun to be around good people, good company. 
great mm-hmm. minds. Um, you know, we got to add color to other people's lives. That's why the colors create us people. Of course. But uh, for the most part, you know, keep striving. Keep doing better than you were yesterday. And hopefully you're not better the next day. Dang, true words of a veteran at Eastern. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a veteran, bro. I'm an icon. Oh! <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm going to start <laughs> tweeting all the quotes from the podcast. Oh, follow the podcast on Twitter. P O D K A S T X K. Can you repeat that quote, Javi? Which one? The one where you like, what, if, what the secret and chingones or something? You got to be You got to <laughs> Hit us with it. Si la gente se quiere chingón, ponte los huevos y hay que ser más chingón. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I forgot. I just did Mandela effect again. Mandela effect. Like, holy. Javi's proof of that. If I don't remember, dude, when I'm taking finals and I don't know the answer, I'm just going to write, bro, this is the Mandela effect. <laughs> I'm going to put that. I'm like, professor, just pass me. I'm, I'm going to do that at this point. Oh, I'm my gosh. <laughs> Some of y'all are seniors and it shows. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, you know, as always, take care of yourself. Um, be good to yourself. And, yeah, I'll see you around. <laughs> All right, lads, thank you so much for being on the show. I really hope we can have y'all back on here uh, again at some point next semester. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> some point in the next life. <laughs> so now you believe in reincarnation. <laughs> uh-huh. All right, guys. He, he wants to get in lost in my world. Oh. Well, <laughs> that's <laughs> why. There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much for listening to 90.1 WECS FM. This has been Podcast with a K, and I'm Carla with a K, signing off. Enjoy the rest of your week, and for those of y'all that celebrate it, happy Thanksgiving. And for those of y'all that don't, uh, may life still bring you reasons to be grateful. All right. Have a great night. <laughs>